ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to another cast here brought to you by EREF TV. This is going to be the Alienware Arena Call of Duty Black Ops NVIDIA Launch Tournament. This is uh, the loser's bracket and uh, that's not in a negative term, but nonetheless, we're going to be in bracket number six tonight. Tonight's combatants in the arena will be random acts of violence going up against divine talent. I'm going to be your host tonight, Anger. And alongside of me is the all-knowing, the legendary, Wansom. Good evening, Wansom. How are you doing tonight, my friend? Hey, man, I'm going to take that, cut it up, and then put it on my iPod so I can walk around and listen to you talk good about me all day long. Because I, I feel fantastic after you introduce me. Um, as, uh, we're going to be here on Array, Anger, and uh, this is... Uh, a pretty unique map as far as the way it's split, uh, the sides are split and everything like that. It's going to be CTF here for this NVIDIA uh, launch tournament here. $1,500 on the line, $750 for first, uh, $500 second, $250 for third. And again, this is uh, lower bracket semifinal action in bracket number seven, I want to say. The winner of this will go on to play Nexus in the lower bracket finals, and then the winner of that will go on to play uh, BL Gaming in the upper bracket. So uh, looking forward to it here, man. Yeah, it should be interesting as we get closer. The cream uh, rises to the top. And uh, as we get deeper into these brackets, Wansom, uh, we are definitely uh, seeing that as these teams are doing their thing. Now, it looks like they're not having the pistol one unless I missed it. Or actually, they only have four. I'm not sure if this is live or not. They didn't it's indicate live. anything. Okay, so it's a 5v4 here as the Spitna side. That will be a random acts of violence. Uh, going against Divine Talent, they are on the Black Offside. So again, a one-man advantage here early off going to uh, Random Axe. So we'll see if they can take that uh, that advantage here. So uh, nevertheless, uh, one of the one of the things about this map array that really caught my attention. Now, Bobcat, really quick as they're going through this, uh, I'm not sure again if this is uh, live or not, but it uh, looks like we're on the remote ice planet of Hoth. So all you Star Wars nerds out there, if you look at this dish, this thing is humongous. I mean. Where is this thing pointing to? The Death Star? I mean, who are they trying to contact? E.T.? I mean, the Starship Enterprise? I, I'm not really sure, but that's my little <laughs> ra uh, rant there of this map is I like to tweak little things out and, and really put them under the spotlight. And, well, that satellite dish definitely has to be in the spotlight. thing is huge! <laughs> it's, you know, the Battle of Hoth is probably my favorite scene from Star Wars, but uh, we'll, we'll get away from that as we don't want to... Uh Get get too far outside of what's going on here, but I agree with you. And it's 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 a very dominating feature of the map. It's hard not to notice it. And uh, we'll take a look here. It's going to be zero zero here. R O A R A O V. Sorry. Uh, and uh, DT going to be going out of here. Looks like we do have a flag being picked up here by uh, Random Acts of Violence. Now these two teams have met prior. Anger. They uh, actually yeah, met in the upper bracket, and it was. Uh, divine Talent that knocked uh, Random Acts of Violence out of that upper bracket. So these two teams have met, and uh, Divine Talent actually got the better of the both there with a 9-2 to victory early on on Havana. And I want to give big props to my man Puzzman, who did all the uh, the legwork for me here, getting all these facts and uh, running down the bracket play and all that kind of stuff for me on these two teams is uh, Puzzman making me look good here. So big shout-out to him. As uh, looks like Butch here is going to be running this flag uh, through uh, uh, next to Tanks right here. He's going to wait on it as his flag has been picked up. And, uh, you know, this is something that we've actually seen quite a bit on this map, Anger, is sort of uh, the ability for both teams to get each other's flags and then hold on to them for a long period of time. So it plays a little bit slow, uh, but a low cap count can always lead to an exciting finish. Absolutely, as JB here for Divine Talent has the flag uh, for them. So, again, like uh, Wansom was saying just a little bit there, uh, both teams have each other's flag so this is going to be a little stalemate a little bit here uh, we'll see how this transpires as we progress a little bit here deep uh, as we start out the first half here uh, seven minutes uh, left in the first half uh, ten minute halves uh, for the two halves and if we go into overtime it will be five minutes each half there so in case we go to that point you have all the information also really quick as we take a look at the eref scoreboard brought to you by alienware arena and nvidia we'll take a look at the starting alliance first for the divine talent we have vital JB, he's the one with the flag right now for Divine Talent. We have Vorg, Intox, and Savvy. For Random's Acts of Violence, we have Messiah, So Lucky, Hush, Butch, and Brain. And uh, if I remember right, and I do, it's JB has it for Divine Talent. And for uh, Butch, for Random's Acts of Violence. So uh, there's, your, there's your head count. And I'm taking a look here, Bobcat and Butch, who's actually playing... Uh 
I mean, really far back here. Vorg has him spotted here, has not taken the shot. Here comes the shot from Vorg. I've got to take him out here. Brain going to be fighting to keep a hold of flag. Vorg with another kill there with that commander. And now here comes uh, Hush uh, is going to put Vorg uh, down there to finally recapture uh, the enemy's flag there. Not capture, I said retake the enemy's flag there. As uh, RAOV is going to remain uh, with the flag as well as uh, DT here. And uh, JB, looks like he's hanging out back here uh, by these boulders, Bobcat, all the way in their spawn. He's really close to the actual cap point, uh, whereas, uh, you know, Butch is actually a little bit away from that. So, uh, you know, depending on what takes place here, I will say that the Divine Talent flag, uh, where they have the enemy flag right now, is probably easier to defend uh, than where RAOV is right now. Yeah, right now Butch has actually moved up into the vicinity where he needs to be to get this flag across. Actually, he's on the flag point there, so he is just way... He is really in the open here, so uh, he needs to back off and get some cover here as some shots are being fired near the rear of his area. As uh, he is, he's hearing them. Here comes Borg once again. Open up your peripheral vision, Borg, please, and not get shot up as he <laughs> just did by Hush. So, again, both teams have the flags, and again, nobody has scored. No flag captures. Still early off in the first half. About uh, just a little shade under. Five minutes left here, Wansom, as uh, we're trying to wait for our team to score here. Without a doubt, and, uh, you know, this Divine Talent team here, a lot of experience on this team, Anger, as far as the Call of Duty series goes. Um, Absolutely. You know, I've, I've played against this team, uh, you know, way back in Call of Duty 2 when I first got started with the series, but uh, a total of three championships in, in CTF for these teams uh, that I know of, anyway. I'm sure there's actually probably more if you count, like, Sabotage and all that kind of stuff in COD 4. So, uh, Divine Talent, just a superb CTF team, and I'm sure they were just, uh, you know, drooling at the mouth when they found out that Black Ops was going to have the CTF mode here, so... Uh, again, both of these teams holding on to, to each other's flags, uh, something we've seen previously on this map uh, quite a bit. And, uh, you know, uh, Puzzman had a chance to talk to uh, Random Acts of Violence here before things got underway and asked them about that first matchup they had with Divine Talent. And, uh, you know, he just said flat out they were unprepared oh. here. As Vorg is going to come around the corner and grab the, uh, the flag there. So we should see a cap here relatively soon uh, coming from Divine Talent here. And we will as uh, we're going to see, uh, let's see here, who was that? JB is going to hop across their anger. So 1-0, to zero, and that could be enough to win this one, uh, depending on how, how the second half goes. Yeah, you, you're going to have to make it may get into uh, Random Acts of Violence's head a little bit here. Again, they lost in the first map, as you indicated, on Havana. So they don't want to go down too far here because a 9-2 to two score in that match uh, really has got to be creeping at least a little bit in the back of their minds. And as you were saying, in the last match they met up, uh, you, at least you can go a little further on that one so I know that you were interrupted there by the flag capture. Uh, I, was, I was just uh, just told there by Random Acts of Violence that they... You know, they said they were just not prepared uh, for, for this DT team. And, uh, you know, when asked what their plans were for, you know, this, this matchup, uh, they said they had some things <laughs> planned, and that was as, as far as they were willing to go. So uh, right now looks like Divine Talent still uh, still playing uh, on top of them right now as they're going to pick up a flag and uh, see if they can escort that back. Yeah, you, sometimes you'll hear random laughs from me. It's only because I see just the funniest crap that takes place in this game. Nades getting tossed in, in the weirdest places and just the person just gets dropped like a, a bad habit. But nonetheless, excuse me for that. But uh, as you were stating, you know, you know, Divine Talent uh, played Sabotage. I remember casting them, their, their nemesis, Area 51, not in this tournament, or at least I haven't seen them as of late. Um, they were going back and forth back in the COD 4 days. So it's good to see Divine Talent at least playing this. And uh, as you were saying, um, this is pretty much kind of cater to what they like to do, move around fast and, and use a lot of escorts as they uh, were doing in Sabotage, Watson. Yeah, without a doubt. It, it definitely caters to their game game type uh, choices and their, their style here as Vorg is going to hop across and get another cap here. And so he's going to give a little head weave there as he comes in. So 2-0 here for Divine Talent. Uh, looks like about two minutes left on the clock here. And, you know, I hate to say it, but the way this, this match is playing out right now, uh, you know, it, perhaps the score should be a little more lopsided than it is our, as, uh, you know, Random Acts of Violence actually got that, uh, the, the DT flag and held onto it for a very long time there and sort of stemmed the flow of caps here coming from uh, Divine Talent. But right now they are controlling the satellite building. Uh, they're controlling everything right now. They're, all of the lanes right now belong to Divine Talent. Anger. Yeah, and as I'm taking a look here, Divine Talent uh, moving out. Now it looks like they're going to try to pick up another flag here. Or at least, actually, nope, they didn't quite get it here as I'm going to bounce around here and see what we have. Yes, it is Vorg once again with the flag. Now he's taking it past the satellite building as he's making his way towards the uh, garage here. And he's cutting across to the rocks. Now he's going to go past the hangar here, the small hangar. And let's see here, he's going to go a long way around to the borders, uh, excuse me, boulders. 
And uh, picks up another flag capture there, so that is two for Vorg, and uh, that makes three uh, for the Divine Talent team. So uh, they're extending their lead here, and it looks pretty easily thus far for them, Wansom, as they're just moving around the map very, very freely. Yeah, right now they're going to chain another cap here, Anger. JB picked up the flag there uh, almost immediately after the flag cap there from Vorg, and he is already ar back in their spawn right now, getting ready to cap again here, uh, headed to this, uh, this DT flag. He's going to get lit up here from somebody from construction. Uh, but will, he will jump across and get the cap. So 4-0 here, just like that, Anger. That was a quick turnaround, a uh, big swing of events there. And uh, we'll take a look here at the EREF scoreboard, brought to you by NVIDIA and Alienware Arena. Uh, for this DT team, we'll, we'll run down the, uh, the winning team first, Divine Talent. Uh, Vital going to be on top there. 22 kills, 10 deaths, uh, no caps or returns. He's been a big fragger for them. Vorg going to have uh, 10 kills, 2 caps, 1 return. And uh, Intox going to be uh, the leader there. He's 12 and 14. And uh, seven and six from JB and Savvy or Civi. I'm not sure how you say that. So we're under 30 seconds here. Uh, looks like we might have another cap here, Angers. JB's picked this one up and he's running it back. Yeah, Vital uh, actually picked up the flag initially there and uh, brought it back all the way past mid building or satellite building and, and uh, took a death there. But in the before he took that death, he got a nice stab there on the second floor. Uh, through that pathway so uh, nonetheless another flag capture it is now five to zero we head to the second half this is not looking good uh, for random acts of violence as they're they are on life support and uh, let's see if they can revive themselves here uh, wants them as we get to the second half yeah there it's you know it's t-minus 10 minutes here to to a uh, divine talent victory and something big has to come up here from this random acts of violence team really? and uh, you know really the way this uh, yeah exactly and, and you know they're down five nothing right now and the way this map plays out uh you know if if divine talent even gets one more flag cap or you know they bleed some time off with maybe a, a flag pickup or something like that this thing's over with but uh, you know right now there's you know there's there's all kinds of weird weapons on the field right now from dt i think they know they're in control here anger they uh they're playing with some authority right now well, let's go to do some more room. Uh, the Chancellor of Video, uh, the Supreme Chancellor, that is Bobcat. Let's go to Random Acts of Violence. Let's listen in and see if they are already crying it out. Let's go! You know, in the middle. Not have top mid. I'll get okay, up there. I'm going top mid. Two go in power station, watch mountainside. Cool. One dead. Just came over the little wall. Oh, I'll be some help. Two here. Oh, I'm down. Someone get on flag. Two on flag. Watch that nade on flag. You must have, you must have killed him. Or something. Okay. All right, we're back here. Anza, we're going to take a look. Bobcat, why don't you head on over to So Lucky uh, for random as uh, he is trying to move. The, he's on the second floor of Satellite Building here, which is the mid-building of this map. He's trying to make his way. He's been camping out up there a little bit, uh, trying to give some uh, height support here for his members. But he's just having—he's he, picking out, picking people left and right. But really, nobody is supporting him. And as JB puts him to rest there, so wants him uh, right now. I think DT is just pretty much, uh, pretty much doing it. Well, I shouldn't say they threw in the towel, but they pretty much took uh, uh, Rayov's uh, soul there they in stole this the match towel. very quickly. They, they took <laughs> yeah. the towel, from, if, if we will. <laughs> little little locker room banter there. Um, that's inappropriate. I'm sorry, but uh, you know, it, it, as you as you mentioned, Anger, Divine Talent playing in complete control right now. And again, with the way this thing started off, you know, we weren't really sure what was going to happen. There's Random Acts of Violence uh, got that uh, Divine Talent flag actually before Divine Talent got their flag, and then they held on to it for about five minutes there. And then after that, they haven't been able to stem the the, the flood right now from uh, you know this this Divine Talent team as they're just playing very dominant right now. The kill count is is heavily heavily in their favor. Is uh, you know we did a little bit of a scoreboard rundown there for uh, Divine Talent. I'm not sure if we did um, uh, Random Acts of Violence here, Anger. Did, did we do the score rundown for them? Uh, no, not yet. But we do have a flag. Looks like uh, nope. Uh, the has been returned here by uh, Hush 
here, so uh, that is taken care of. But uh, go ahead with the scoreboard, my friend. All right, here. So uh, back to the Nvidia uh, scoreboard here on UREV TV. We'll take a look here at uh, Random Max Violence. So lucky, uh, going to be at 17 and 18 right now. One return. Uh, Messiah going to be at 17 and 20. No returns. Uh, 16 and 15 there from Hush with one return, and uh, 10 and 19 there from uh, Butch. And brain gonna be five and ten there. So really, the story here, anger is, you know, they when they when the when divine talent got the flag, they scored. Uh, there's very few returns on the board right now uh, for either team. Actually, one return only for divine talent. Yeah, I, I, right now as I'm looking at, I've been looking at so lucky. I I kind of feel bad for him because he's doing all he can to keep uh, random acts of violence in this match. I mean, he's moving around. He's but again, he keeps going on that second floor. I'm not sure if that's a set position for him, at least strat-wide. Uh, uh, but he's been up there a lot. But he's he's just really doing all he can to do <laughs> as he gets sniped <laughs> there by Vork. Vork is just a Ginzu master here in this match. But uh, he's doing all he can, so hopefully he can get more support. But uh, with five minutes, five and a half minutes left in the match, I'm not sure if that's going to take place here. So he's going to probably have to struggle alone here and, and probably see a chiropractor as he's carrying this team. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's definitely true here. He's um, he's definitely we still uh, got some fight in him, if you will. Yeah, Borg has the flag here for Divine Talent. Sorry for the interruption there. I just wanted to get that out as he's going to be making his way. This might be the first uh, flag capture of the second half. Let's see if he can make his way. So, Bobcat, take a, take a look over at Borg here as he has the flag, and he's inching closer here once. Yeah, it looks like he's going to – yeah, he'll have this one pretty easily. He's going to jump across, and uh, that will make it 6-0 here. And uh, tell you what, we got uh, about 4 minutes, 45 seconds left here. I don't think we've been to Divine Talent's vent yet, Anger. Uh, so let's do some War Room coverage here on ERF TV for uh, Divine Talent, see how they're dealing uh, with, uh, you know, the 6-0 lead they have right now. So Bobcat, take us away. And when the cliffside hit comes, don't everyone go over there. You know, you can handle it. Stay focused on them reverting to cut off the flag carrier more and try to chase down that cliff. Get that flag over. Top mid, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Come in green. I got that guy, JB. Yeah. All right, we're back to live action here, as uh, Anger has always taught me to say here on Europe TV. So we're back from War Room, <laughs> and uh, that was that was divine talent. They are up 6-0 right now. They have another flag uh, running out here past power lines, Anger, and and we're almost at uh, three minutes thirty seconds. And uh, you know it isn't over until it's over, but this one's over. Uh, six zero. There's no way that random acts of violence can come back from this in the time that's allotted right now. Yeah, right. Uh, as we're looking, it looks like we're getting a little bit more support here from uh, uh, random with at least their players here. It looks like they're trying to help out so lucky. So, But a little too late as you were stating here. Uh, three and a half minutes left in this match. 6-0 lead. Not much more to say. Uh, just wait for the time to uh, tick away here as it looks like uh, Divine Town will be taking on Nexus. And funny about this, uh, Wansom, uh, when they take on Nexus, Nexus beat them in the winner's bracket and that's how Divine Talent got here to this portion. So a uh, little revenge for them as uh, they'll, they'll, they'll take uh, Nexus next week, and that will be, I believe, on Grid, so that should be interesting. Yeah, without a doubt, and, that, and that's the cool thing about this double elim elimination bracket that, uh, you know, Alien Orbina has set up here, is that uh, you get to see a lot of rematches here, and a lot of times those teams that get dropped, or, you know, that, that's a close matchup with the team that beat him, so uh, looking forward to that again. We've still got, uh, you know, I think six, seven seven matches to play in the lower bracket then so we have seven seven brackets seven lower bracket championships to play and then we have, of course have the upper bracket uh, finals in those brackets and then uh, we'll move into the championship bracket anger where we get the champion from each bracket highest seed will probably get a buy i think and uh, we'll move into the uh, the championship bracket play there so we're still a lot of call of duty black ops ctf tournament here uh, left to play and uh, we'll let you guys know as soon as we can what we end up casting next week is this one again about two minutes left on the clock here it is six zero in favor of divine talent yeah and uh, and the sad thing or maybe not for some of you out there we're going to be going to s and d uh, I'm not too happy about it, only because of a few issues from the casting perspective. But nonetheless, I'm going to miss Capture the Flag. I like the fast movement and such. I wish we could have went to Demolition. But that's not for me to decide. But So we get to enjoy Capture the Flag at least for a few more weeks here as uh, we make our way to S&D. 
Yeah, without a doubt, and uh, you know, it's it's going to be a, a rough transition casting wise, man. As far as you know, mm -hmm. the have, having to join a team every round and all that kind of stuff, it's it's very oh. broken from a, a casting standpoint right now. Not to say that the game is you know completely broken, but from a casting standpoint, uh, not sure where we stand on that just yet. So uh, stay tuned for that again. As uh, we've got uh, uh, you know we got the first season of S and D coming up here. As I will be casting that, and you know, maybe CTF will will survive in some form. We'll see what happens there. But it is still alive, of course, here in this Alienware Arena Nvidia launch tournament. Here, uh, again, fifteen hundred dollars on the line here, guys. They are playing for fun. They're playing for keeps. As uh, it's going to be seven fifty for first, uh, five hundred for second, two fifty for third for this Alienware Arena uh, Nvidia launch tournament. So make sure to stick with us through the end here, as I believe we've got just under just under a month. I left, I think, left here, Anger, to get uh, get the rest of these matches done. Yeah, and you get to put that Alienware Arena stamp on your resume uh, as a team as you move forward. So you can put that whenever you join other leagues. You can put that you won the Alienware Arena uh, tournament. So that, that is awesome to put on there. And it looks good on your website. So cool for that. And especially for Capture the Flag, if there's no other season, hey, you can say that you're the one and only winner for Call of Duty Black Ops in Capture the Flag. It's always good to have. So about 30 seconds here left, a little less than that. Uh, again, the score is 6-0. to zero. Uh, We had random acts of violence. Didn't get quite past the finish line here. They got close a few times, in the, at least in the first round they did, uh, but they just couldn't quite get it across there once as we eat closer here uh, to the end. And uh, random acts of violence will be knocked out here by Divine Talent. But Divine Talent will move on. Looks like they're going to pick up the flag here. I don't think they're going to get it across once, but we'll see what Bor can do as he makes his way, and he doesn't. You know, I'm going to, uh, you know, as this one ticks down uh, to, to the end here, 6-0 in favor of uh, Divine Talent. Tell you what, Anger, I think I'm going to try and get somebody from uh, DT in here to do a little bit of an interview, uh, talk about some stuff. So um, give me just one second, and I'll see if I can get somebody in here. All right, well, uh, in the meantime, as we're waiting for uh, Wansom, if you want to get your shout-outs across this cast really quick, you can hit me up on Xfire at Anger. O N E, the number five, the number six, the number two. Now, if you don't get get it in this time, keep my X fire. I'll add you during the week or sometime uh, when I get a chance, and uh, keep that as we have other casts. You can definitely hit me up, and I'll make sure I get that uh, shout out to you. Uh, make sure you check out our website at www.e-rev. Dot TV uh, throughout the week as you see not just with Call of Duty Black Ops but you'll also see other games uh, being casted here at eRev TV I mean you got Call of Duty or excuse me uh, Counter-Strike Source uh, you got Han uh, League of Legends you got uh, Left 4 Dead I mean Left 4 Dead is insane if uh, some of you I'm sure played it if you uh, guys want to just sit back and watch it it's insane you have Twiz my man Twiz doing it up big there and just getting buck wild on his cast so uh, make sure you guys uh, tune in for that as we have a lot of different uh, styles or game styles and, and game types for you if you guys like different things so make sure you do that I will be casting along with Bait my man Bait making his return here to the mic he's gonna him and I will be doing some TF2 I know it's a kind of an outdated game a little bit but people still play it people are still interested in it so I'm looking forward to that because I love the fast movement and in TF2 so it's gonna be very very fun uh, to, to get that rocking and rolling here at eRev TV so, uh, let's see if Wansom has uh, looks like like he's getting people in here as we see Karn making his way here mr. sabotage himself so we'll see if the rest of the members here from DT want some give me an update my friend besides Karn who else do um, we have? I told him to bring whoever he wanted and then I also got a hold of Intox. so hopefully he'll be coming and we're gonna get a little bit of a post game Karn? here from everybody good evening Karn how you doing my friend pretty good thanks awesome awesome now Intox is here good evening Intox. how you doing good how you doing, uh, awesome. All right, all right. All right, Wansom, uh, we'll let you start out the uh, question. I'm sure you have a couple uh, for these gentlemen as they just got done. They're probably uh, getting ready to hit the showers as they just sweat it out. Very uh, easy win there against random acts of violence as they just really created the violence on them. So, And it wasn't very random, Wansom. So go ahead. What's what's with you in showers and stealing towels today, man? It was <laughs> I don't know, man. I have a fetish. <laughs> it's, it's a whole I'm sorry. 
It's a whole theme going here. But anyway, uh, back to Intox Karn here. Uh, you know, you guys, you know, the DT name is, I mean, synonymous with Call of Duty, and especially with, with Capture the Flag here. So um, I know that you guys just got done winning a match. That's great. That's awesome. I want to take a step back here. Uh, you know, Intox here. Uh, tell us, you know, were you guys sort of just drooling? You know, as I was talking about on the cast with you guys' history with, uh, you know, UO, Kai2, all that kind of thing uh, with CTF, were you guys kind of just drooling at the mouth here when, uh, when CTF came to Black Ops? Um, I would say it was nice to have CTF come to, you know, a modern warfare style Call of Duty like like Four was, and with dedicated servers where W2 kind of failed to a degree, you know. So it's definitely nice to have CTF back in Call of Duty. But what's what's needed is a mod tools, you know. Instead of the different rule sets, you have the Alienware 10 minutes with attachments. You have the TWL 15 minutes without it, bare bones. It's like we need to get one way to do it uh, uh, to help, I guess, you know make a little bit better ctf that's all it's fun i dig it without a doubt yeah yeah definitely and and, and karn here I'll, I'll throw this one to you uh the the ev evidently the swap to search and destroy is coming you guys are a renowned for ctf uh you know what does this mean for divine talent here between you know the two of you uh we don't play sd whether it's the main game type or whatever we've always been that way in the call of duty series so wherever there's ctf we'll play it well, I mean, a we might play some SD. Like we might play some SD. We've done some ladders, and we've done like a TWL league. We might play some SD, but it's like we'll never put much into it or scrim it. You know, CTF would where we would focus. You know, we try practice. You know, scrim some that sort of thing. SD we might play here and there, but we would just hop in there and wing it. You know. Yeah, without a doubt. So, uh, you know, that'll. I'll, I'll let Anger take a crack, to you guys. Here, I got some more stuff I'd like to ask you guys about, but we're on we're on the clock here. So, Anger, what do you got for him? Well, I just have really one quick question again, and, and it goes back to the different uh, genres in Call of Duty. Um, I, I know I have a thing for demolition, and I know it's a little bit of a mix of capture the flag in a sense, at least the fluidity of it. And then you also have a little S and D with the bomb type. But would that be something you guys would be in favor of, or is it just strictly CTF? Well, no, absolutely, we, we would definitely be in favor of it. That you're talking about sabotage. That's exactly what sabotage was. It was a mixture of CTF, which is a lot of spawn control gaming involved, mm -hmm. and SD. It took spawn control gaming of CTF and applied it to planting a bomb and, and instead of capturing a flag. It just changed the objective. You know? So we definitely dig that sort of thing because you know, spawn control gaming is a lot of fun. Even TDMs were somewhat fun, but without the objective, it's not as interesting, whether it's CTF or planting a bomb like Sabotage. So we would dig it in, in other ways for sure. Yeah, we really enjoyed Sabotage in Call of Duty 4. We were disappointed that it didn't take off. It, it seemed like the game was a lot better for Sabotage than Search and Destroy. So it was disappointing. Yeah, I just remember casting you guys against uh, Area 51. I was talking about that, you know, and sabotage. You guys were always going back and forth, so it was always good to see those matches. But uh, go ahead, Watson, with your with your question. Uh, you, you know, I just uh, of the teams you guys see left in this Alienware Arena bracket, uh, you know, your bracket and the others. You know, how how are you guys feeling about moving on to the championship round here? Uh, let's see. I think you guys got uh, Nexus in the lower bracket, and then BL Gaming is uh, sitting up there waiting on. Uh, the winner of the lower bracket there, so you guys can move on to the championship bracket. So, I mean, you know, uh, what are you guys looking at here as far as, you guys are not in an easy bracket by any means. There's some good teams uh, in, in the bracket you Absolutely. guys are playing in. So, what are, you, what are you looking to do here? I mean, do you guys feel pretty confident moving on? Always got to feel confident, but, you know, we'll see what we can with certain schedules and times, getting together and, and practicing and doing yeah, that well, really helps, you know, that's what's hard. That's what's hard days is getting that down instead of just spinning and winging it, but so we'll see how we pl how it works out. You know, there is a lot of good teams and a lot of good players. So, just kind of see how it works. You know, we're not gonna underestimate Nexus because they're the ones that knocked us to the uh, lower brackets in a really close match. It was three to two on WMD. So we're looking to get some revenge on them, and we're not sure how b uh, how Grid's gonna play because the spawns seem all over the place. But we'll practice and see what we can do. All right. Um, well, I guess that's pretty much at least for the questions. Uh, we appreciate you guys coming in. What we like to do is give the opportunity to you guys uh, to give shout-outs. So, uh, Karn, uh, we'll start with you. If you have any shout-outs for anybody out there, uh, why don't you get those out right now, my friend? I'll give a shout-out to Vitality because he's a... 
professional troll, but he's still a COD nobody and terrible at gaming. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, Intox, go ahead and take it away. You know, I'll give a shout out to my man Meth. How about that? That's, that's what I'll do. Alright. Well, that was very quick and to the point and very direct. So, we again, we appreciate you guys coming in. Again, uh, that is Karn and Intox uh, from Divine Talent as they knocked off Random Acts of Violence 6-0. to zero, Gave a, a Rav a, a nice donut hole as they move on to play Nexus uh, in the next match on Grid. So, uh, Wansom, that's pretty much it. Do you have any final words, bro? Uh, no, man, that's about it for me. Good luck to you guys. Good luck to everybody else left in the Alienware Arena NVIDIA launch tournament here. Uh, and uh, make sure you guys tune in for everything else coming from Rev TV, other games, as well as future Alienware Arena coverage. And uh, I got a shout-out here for Puzzman again, who gave me uh, gave me the rundown on the teams tonight because I was lazy. So shout-out to Puzzman again. <laughs> and, uh, that'll do it for me. Today. Oh, really quick, too, for all you people, if you guys are bored or, or just want to get some information on the current Call of Duty Black Ops State, uh, make sure you ch uh, check out Wansom's uh, video collection. There. He has a couple out talking about having a roundtable with SIBO admins and different admins from different leagues, talking about the state of the game right now as, we, as it's currently configured. So make sure you guys tune into that. He put a lot of work into that, and I must say it's, it's very informative, very good. So uh, big ups to you, Wansom, on that. So if you guys get an opportunity, make sure you guys take a look at that. Um, as for, uh, I guess that's pretty much it. I'd like to say thanks to the Supreme Chancellor of Video, that is Bobcat. So, um, peace and prosperity to all, and to all a good night. Until next time, adios.